Welcome to the Leadership Decoded Podcast. Here, we discuss practical strategies and actionable tactics to help you lead at work and in your everyday life. I'm your host, Dr. Will Ramey, a former U.S. Army officer and combat veteran, an executive education adjunct professor, a corporate team development workshop facilitator, speaker, and leadership coach. Today, we are getting gritty. Thanks to the research of Angela Duckworth, we know that grit plays a part in how we persevere and build up our resilience. Join us as we explore the profound impact perseverance, passion, and long-term commitment can have on your daily life and your leadership abilities. Let's get started. Angela Duckworth and her research on grit has unveiled this, this concept, and grit can be defined as an enduring passion and perseverance for long-term goals. In the realm of leadership, grit isn't just a trait. It's a transformative force that drives success and keeps you coming back for more over the long haul. Grit involves a sustained and consistent effort towards a goal over a long period of time. These aren't just the short-term bumps. These aren't just the short-term accomplishments. These are the big, glorious goals that you want to achieve, and grit is what keeps you moving forward little by little, day after day, setback after setback. So as you have a a goal over a long period, despite failures, despite setbacks, despite obstacles, grit is what keeps you moving. It's not just about the ability to keep going in the face of adversity. It also includes a deep commitment to and passion for the objective that you've chosen to pursue. Grit can be thought of as the the fuel within. It's the fuel within that propels you towards your goal, towards your long-term objective. Your long-term goal takes time to achieve. These are, these are big things that you want to accomplish. There are many distractions that can pop up and setbacks that will happen along the way. Your grit is what you can tap into, not just in a specific moment, but over the long haul, along the path to achieve your goals. This is what keeps you on track. And once you have that big, audacious goal, grit will take you where talent and luck won't. In the grand scheme of things, grit emerges not just as a companion to success, but it's the driving force that will propel you past where talent and luck won't take you. It'll propel you past what you think you're good at. This is why people who are maybe less talented than you are getting after the same goals that you want to get after because they have, they have grit and grit will carry you. So I want to share with you the gritty road to my accomplishing and, and obtaining my doctorate. It goes back, it was a, a two-year process to where I made the decision, I applied, I went through the process, interviewed, and got accepted to the executive doctorate of business administration program at Drexel University. And I remember I was so proud, I was so happy, I had this vision in my head that once I obtain my doctorate, now I'm going to be able to change the world. Once I obtain my doctorate, now I'm going to be able to open my own leader and team development business. I'm going to understand the academic side of, of research, of organizational behavior, the research behind what makes great teams great, the research behind what makes leaders tick. And now I'll apply that and marry that with my experience to deliver meaningful value-added workshops. This was it. So I go down to Drexel day one. I'm sitting there. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm meeting people for the first time. And I am now in a room of C-suite executives. I'm in a room packed with high achievers. I'm in a room with CFOs, financiers, venture capitalists, entrepreneurs, people who have already accomplished what I wanted to do at the end of my doctorate. That first day, that first hour and a half, I started to sweat. And then we go around the room and make introductions. And I hear what people have done. And then I I get past that and say, you know, I'm good enough. I can be here. I started to question myself. What did I get myself into? We had one of the professors that came up and said, by the time you're done with this program, you'll have written a a 180 page book. I had to stop and think, how on earth am I going to write 
180 pages on one subject. We had another professor stand up and say, think about what you want to be an expert in because you're going to dedicate the next three years of your life to this program. And oh, by the way, you still have jobs, you still have families, you still have other responsibilities. And I thought to myself, how am I going to do that? But I kept coming back to this vision of where I wanted to be along the way, where I wanted to be when this program was done, this vision of Dr. Will Ramey, expert, so that I can help organizations. It took me another 20 hours a week. I had to overcome my lack of knowledge with research statistics. I had to overcome uh, and shift writing from writing for business and writing in the military to writing for research. It's a different style. It's a different language. It requires a different skill set. There were many late nights where I'd tuck my kids in and I'd go back down to work up until midnight and I'm up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym before work. There was early mornings on Saturday where I'm up at 5 a.m. to get my workout in and open my laptop to get my research done. Grit, the perseverance and the passion I had for what I wanted to do is what propelled me forward, is what kept me moving during those late nights and early mornings. Over that two and a half year journey is what kept me on pace and on track because I had a vision of what my long-term goal was going to be. I had setbacks. I had to overcome obstacles. But grit is what helped me kept coming back for more. So when you think about how you embrace adversity, how you overcome challenges, how you stay in the game for the long term, grit is what takes you there. Unleash the power of grit by identifying what researchers term an ultimate objective. You have to have a goal that is so profound that it becomes the compass guiding you and infusing meaning into every facet of your journey. Grit is the unwavering commitment to that goal. A tenacity that endures even in the face of setbacks, even in the face of mistakes, in the face of obstacles, the sluggish pace of progress. Things don't happen overnight and there's no fast forward button. Grit will help you endure. So let's take a look at how you can develop your own grit so that you can lead yourself towards your goal, towards your big audacious goal. One, discover your passion. Know what that is. Passion is a keystone element of grit. You have to take time to identify your passion and that it will align with your efforts. If you lack passion, your performance will not be your best. If you find yourself doing something you're not passionate about, chances are you're not giving 100%. Second, focus on mastery over accolades. Talent will only get you so far. Talent can get you trophies. Growth mindset and learning get you those long-term achievements gets you that long-term development and makes you better each and every day. Embracing a growth mindset where you desire to continuously improve, learn from setbacks, that will help you maintain your curiosity along your journey. Three, gain clarity on your higher purpose. So you have passion and perseverance, but gaining clarity on your higher purpose is what helps you to develop more grit. When you know who you are, and who you are serving, how you are contributing to the bigger picture, the bigger scheme of things, and how you are improving lives or society based on your goal, you can tap into your intrinsic motivation. This is where grit combines with intrinsic motivation to keep propelling you forward over the long haul. Four, play the long game. Changes take time. Achieving big audacious goals takes time. It's not something you're going to do in a weekend. It's not something you're going to do in an afternoon. There may not be many fast forward buttons in life. There are some that can help you accelerate, but there's not many. Achieving long-term goals requires patience, perseverance, and passion. It requires grit. And five, surround yourself with other gritty people. Tap into your network. Bring along other people that share similar goals or share your similar drive over the long haul. Make time to connect. Share what you're doing. Share where you're going. Share where you are. Share where you want to be. Bring people along with you. Surrounding yourself with gritty people can help you develop even more grit and keep you on path. When you embody the principles of grit, 
as outlined by the work of researcher Angela Duckworth, you are capable of creating environments where challenges can be overcome, challenges are viewed as opportunities, setbacks are seen as stepping stones, and success is a product of your sustained effort. Her research illuminates the path of leadership grit, which is a journey of passion, perseverance, and a steadfast commitment to long-term goals. By applying these insights, you can navigate challenges successfully and inspire those around you. Thanks for tuning in to Leadership Decoded here at the Loop Internet Studio. If you enjoyed today's episode, save it, share it with your fellow leaders, share it across all of our social media platforms. And we want to hear from you. Leave us a review, send us a comment. If you're struggling with a topic on leadership, send it in to us so we can cover it in an upcoming episode. And if you're a company that's investing in your people, I want to work with you. I have highly engaging, creativity-infused team and leader development workshops that are backed by research to help you get the results that you're looking for. Reach out and connect with me on LinkedIn at Dr. William Ramey or email me at will at honestacks.com. I'm your host, Dr. Will Ramey, and I'll see you the next time you press play.